Hi, I'm John, and I'd like to give you a short instruction on how to use the new G-Sling camera stabilization product. The G-Sling consists of three units, a anchor unit, a adjustable sling unit, and lastly, a quick release unit with the attachment that goes onto the camera lens. To attach the anchor, the sling to the vehicle, we lash it around your door frame twice and we prefer to do the door frame on the back portion rather than the front portion as we get a better result in this position. Uh, similarly we can also attach the sling to the inside grab handle of the car uh, which I personally prefer. Uh, once we've lashed it through and then back on itself, we tighten this up and then we can bring it back over just to tight, uh, to tidy it up. There is Velcro here to take it out the way and once that is secure, we also make sure that the cam buckle is pointing inwards for easier operation. So what's, once this is done, we are now ready to secure the camera to the g sling Once this is done, we make sure that the quick release button is quite securely secured to the camera. We then easily attach that to the camera, the sling, and then we adjust it to our personal eye level, which is comfortable for us. We then place our hands on top of the camera and apply pressure downwards and forward. By doing this we create a tremendous amount of stability. We do not go from underneath like we're used to. This product works on the basis of pressure on a forward and downward uh, motion. Although we've got stability we also have mobility in the camera and this makes it particularly nice for bird photography, for videography, gives us a nice stable panning base to work off and also for panoramic type photographs for the landscapes it gives us a nice axis to work off. The, uh, uh, to go through the opposite window is quite easy we just simply release the belt sling and then we go through and we're ready to go on the opposite window. When the sling is not in use while we are in the bush, we should store it not and we should not leave it dangling as this will do you injury. Alternatively, also, it's not good for the camera itself. I personally like the camera to rest on my shoulder while I'm driving, I find this quite comfortable. Alternatively, you can let it rest on your lap. I've also found users of putting a pillow between themselves and the door and letting the rig rest there. Should you not like any of these alternatives you can extend the strap quite a bit and rest it on in the vehicle. Alternatively you can release it and just store it wherever you prefer. That in short is how to use the G-Sling. And by the way once we have done the anchor point, I normally just leave it for the time I am in the bush, so you don't have to do this every day. So, for all the G-slingers out there, happy slinging with your G-sling, and may your photography improve. Thank you.